What's up everybody, Retro Mike here, and bringing you pickup video number 5, and also in this video I want to show some trades, and as well as that online purchase I made, now, I got that package a couple days ago, and I was going to do an unboxing, but the guy like packaged it all in packing peanuts, and, and also it was, each game was individually wrapped in newspaper, and I decided to just unwrap it all, get it all ready, and I'll show it at the pickup. I mean, it, it's a lot of stuff, but I think I can go through it quicker this way. But uh, first off, I want to do the trades I made with some people. Uh, first trade I did was with Raiden847. I traded him some Nintendo games. And I think some Super Nintendo games. Could be wrong. I can't remember. But check out his channel. He might have a video up there now. But uh, the games I got uh, were Full Metal Alchemist, The Broken Angel. Now, this didn't have the manual, but I managed to pick one up. So now I have a complete copy of Full Metal Alchemist, Broken Angel. Uh, for the GameCube, uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Uh, probably will see if my cousin be interested in that. I think he would be. And the coolest thing that I got from him was a box copy of The Adventures of Link Zelda 2. And it is complete, which is really awesome. It's the goat cart, so thank you, Raiden, for that trade. Also, he threw in two games, uh, NBA Live 2007 and NHL 2007. Oh, he also threw in another game. I just forgot about it, but Dead Rising 2 for the PS3. He also threw in that. So, dude, thank you so much for that trade and your generosity with the, the free games, I guess. But a uh, great trade. Uh, definitely suggest people do some more trades with him but uh, moving on uh, I did a trade with gamer dude Pat once again awesome guy and I traded him Contra cores for the Sega Genesis uh, some other Sega Genesis stuff and I think that was it you can also check out his channel I know he has a video of it and the stuff I traded but he gave me Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Crash Warped, which is awesome. I remember playing these games a lot as a kid, so it's cool to have them back. But that was all from Gamer Dude Pat. Then I did a trade with someone local. Uh, he's starting up a, an NES collection, so it was really cool to work with him. Uh, I traded him some Nintendo games that he grew up with and that he wanted, and also a Super Game Boy. So, uh, happy to help him get his collection. Hope to continue helping him because he, he has a decent sized collection building up, and they're, they're fun games. But the stuff I ended up getting was Halo 2 Limited Edition Pack wonderful condition Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks complete Atari Anthology also complete and he also gave me a bunch of manuals for NES games uh, High Speed Lunar Pool manual for the NES cleaning kit, Pinbot, Rampage, and Booger Tame, <laughs> Booger, uh, let's see here, American Gladiators, and Pinball Quest, and Mario is Missing. Some of these games I have, so they now have manuals, I just need to find boxes now. But those were all the trades I made. I uh, wanted to do them first. 
instead of making a separate video. Now, this video might be kind of long. Uh, I apologize. I'm going to try and make it as entertaining as possible. So, uh, to get to the online purchases I made, I went ahead pretty much last week with my birthday, and it came down to I was given cash, I get what I wanted, and I recently learned that you can play PSPs on the TV. I didn't know that, so I went ahead up, went ahead and bought a PSP, uh, pretty much as a present to myself, I guess, but uh, it's a uh, limited edition Metal Gear Solid, let's see what game is it, Peace Walker set and it's it's pretty it's 100% complete and it's got all the pamphlets cords a little game that came with it and the awesome looking PSP and the cool thing was it came with a free game uh, that was hiding inside of it uh, Midnight Club 3 so I got a free game with that, which yeah, was really awesome. I don't know if the guy knew that it was sitting in there, but I'll take it. And also, to get onto that package I was talking about, uh, it was all Nintendo 64 stuff. Some games I already have in my hands here that I'm going to be trading. Or Lego Racers, Superman, Diddy Kong Racing, and Mickey Speedway USA. I mean, these games were already being traded, so they were already out. Um, also, came I got a uh, purple Nintendo 64 or grape color that came with it, and it also had an expansion pack. Came with all the cords. No purple controller, sadly. Um, got a Mad Cat's controller and some broken controllers that came with it. But uh, the best thing that I got from it was this Nintendo 64 case that holds 28 games, 24, something around there. And it came with all of these games inside of it. And the guy did ship this. Each game was individually wrapped, so it was really a pain to showcase them. I was going to try and get it out here, but uh, go through each game. Let's see what this is. Knife Edge. Jet Force Gemini. NASCAR 99. Cruising USA. California Speed. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Off Road Challenge. Let's make sure I see any either right. San Francisco Rush, NBA Live, two, or yeah, 99, not 2000. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, and Turok 2. I had these split up, so the more interesting games are on one side. Let's see, you got GoldenEye 007, Star Fox 64, Banjo Kazooie, Mega Man 64, which I think might be the only game I keep out of here just because I'd like to get it boxed and everything. Um, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Super Mario Brothers 64, Mario Party, Super Smash Brothers, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Stadium 2, and then I got two copies of Bomberman 64. And that was all in the big package. I think it was a pretty good deal that I ended up getting. But most of this is pretty much all that I got really to try and trade uh, for games that are obviously good enough for my collection. So anyone interested in these games, they are up for trade or sell. Uh, 
but uh, that's it for the online purchases. I did do a little bit of garage sailing. It rained all weekend, including today, so I didn't get a whole lot of, or hit a lot of garage sales, especially one I really wanted to hit. It was advertised and having vintage games, don't know what that meant, but I couldn't hit it because it kept on closing every time it started raining. But I got a few things. I bought uh, this little allotment of games. Tekken 5, Dead or Alive 2, Sonic Collection Plus, Fire Pro Wrestling, Scarface, and Dragon Ball Z Sagas. And that also came with a PS2. So, not a bad deal for 30 bucks. I think it's what it ended up being. So, and it came with controllers and all the hookups. Oh, also, in that one trade that I got the, the Halo I uh, meant to mention, got Frogger with it. Also got a transfer pack for Nintendo 64 and the Rumble pack kind of disorganized all of a sudden. Trying to get the stuff I bought. Uh, I bought this game because I just got the PSP. It's Final Fantasy Tactics The Lion Wars. Uh, if you've watched my pickups, I pick up uh, of a Final Fantasy Tactics for the PS1 and I can go on about how awesome of a game it is. And I knew this game was on there, but I never had a PSP, but now that I do, first game I get, it's going to be the one. So, I'm going to definitely be playing that here soon. Alright, in this box here, I picked up some more games. For 10 bucks, I ended up picking up an allotment of games. Picked up uh, Modern Warfare 3 and Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2, and then he also threw in a disc copy of Jurassic Park Warpath, which I think is a pretty uncommon game. So I'm gonna keep it and try and find a case for it, which shouldn't be too, which is really not hard for PS1 games and PS2 games, to, they are constantly popping up, at least I've never had a problem, it's always the older games that cases don't seem to come my way, but I also picked up another game that I thought was kind of ironic, but uh, a Halo 2 limited edition but this one will be for trade but I'm keeping this sleeve because the one I got in a trade uh, didn't have the sleeve so I just want the sleeve I guess but you know this one would be up for trade if anyone's interested it's a little bit like rusted because it's got some well it's a steel book so it's gonna be a little rusty and then for a buck each, I ended up picking up Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, Hey You Pikachu, and Super Mario 64. So that was it. Um, not, I can't say it's not a lot because I mean, this is a lot of stuff, but. I didn't pick up a lot at garage sales, most of it was off from online purchases and trades, but uh, to the people that I traded with, thank you once again for the trades, hope to do more trades with you, and if you saw anything that I mentioned was up for trade that you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, I think that's going to be it. Uh, oh, I guess I'll finish this video off, since I got a PSP. I'm trying to build up 
an idea of what good games that I've missed. Now, I'm into RPGs, so I'm always looking for RPGs, but if you know of any good RPGs, let me know, or if there's any good games that don't qualify as RPGs, but are still good, uh, let me know. I'll definitely look into those recommendations. Um, I know there's a lot of games that I want to get, but uh, one game at a time, I guess. And I don't see PSP games in the wild all too often. I had to buy that one at a game store that uh, I didn't get too bad of a deal for. But yeah, let me know about PSP games, any recommendations, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next time.